Warning! This podcast contains the sexy blank. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SCN TV podcast for iZombie Season 3, Episode 11, Conspiracy Weary. I'm mm-hmm. Dom. Or am I? And with me, we have Kim and Nick. Huh. Or do we? What? <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's this whole... <laughs> Conspiracy theorists drive me up the wall. I cannot oh. stand them. Unless they know... Unless they're aware that there are conspiracy theorists and they're kind of joking at the same time, then it's okay. Because that, you know, the biggest conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy theorist in TV that I've seen, like, on a TV show is Hodgins from Bones. He's freaking hilarious. But these guys are just completely insane. Put a freaking straitjacket on them. Or eat their brains. It's fine. But even um, though they, they're more... the conspiracy theorists at the same time... They're not wrong, because there are zombies. Well, in nope, that no. case, yeah, but there's some weird stuff. They get all, like, weird with the, the, the Illuminati mean, and whatever. They were talking they about Tupac. Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. Yeah, gonna, Tupac. And then yeah, it, got, it got changed to Biggie Smalls or something. I don't even know what the fuck was going on in that conversation, but it was stupid. They were talking about who died and who didn't die and who killed yeah, who and all like, those crazy crap. And, I'm surprised but, Elvis no. didn't get thrown into there, because Elvis was the big... Elvis is still alive before Tupac, you know? Mm-hmm. Because I remember my grandmother loved Elvis, and that's all all I heard from her was Elvis is still alive, you know, like, all this. I love the theory that he was taken by aliens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. No, I, it, uh, I think just because they kept being grounded by the people around them, it was entertaining. But if they didn't have the other people like Clive and Major and just telling them, shut up and let's go yeah. um, I wouldn't have been able to sit down and enjoy this episode mm. though live with major wasn't completely baseless <laughs> mm. I mean I still don't know I mean what she says her intentions or just to get him to out of out in the world mm-hmm. oh you mean uh, Shauna yeah yeah um, sex toy. I still don't like her. She's 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 been she's lying straight to his face. She's she, manipulating him. It's yes. not only that, but she's Fifty Shades of Batshit Crazy. Yeah, and oh, yeah. and psycho. then Major has the nerve and the audacity. Like, I mean, it, it's hard because you're in a situation like this. You can't just break up with someone like that. There's going no, to be because... consequences. Exactly, and, oh, yeah. you know, I think he kind of realized that when she was like, I'm just trying to do this for you, and he's like, whatever, but, like, at I, the same time, I could see it kind of, like, the gears kind of going in my head. Oh, she, she's gonna she's gonna do real bad things after this happens. Like, yeah. it, she's gonna ask what happens when, when, when you're, you date crazy. Yeah. yeah. When you decide see, to not stop dating crazy, I, they become crazier. I, and then may, you're still, yeah. I may have had an incident, you know, that, that may have been along the lines of uh, crazy. That I've had multiple that, incidents. Uh, you're, you're a little concerned with ending things because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And there's only one solution. Out crazy them. <laughs> Get them to break up with you. Then you don't okay. have to worry okay. about the repercussions. And it worked. And it worked beautifully. Well, so. that works for you. I sent people to jail. Oh. Well, yeah. That's fun, too. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, so, Shauna, she's been, uh, she's got a, a Tumblr, mm-hmm. which, knowing how the CW operates, I'd be very surprised if that wasn't a real Tumblr out there that we could... It- Google? It, it's Shana, Shana, I, I know, I, I'm not going to bother Googling it like because I figured Kim would. Um, but she's <laughs> kind of using um, 
Because I just, I just want to throw out there, they did this uh, for The Flash. Cisco has a Tumblr that they've mentioned once or twice in the show. Uh, yeah. And Cisco actually had a Tumblr that they've updated for a while um, outside of the show. So um, wouldn't be surprised if the CW did it again. But anyway, so she, she's she been running this Tumblr um, kind of... What Major is suspecting, she's using him for notoriety. Um, she wants to become famous off of it. That mm-hmm. She's dating the Chaos Killer, you know, and all this stuff. And she claims she wants to show everybody his sweet side and trying to help Major. We know that's not the case. Major knows that's not the case. So Mm-mm. he breaks up with her, and she starts off by retaliating with a Killer Abs t-shirt. And uh, she's selling these. That's and pretty it, funny. It, it seems like now... You know, Major uh, is making these t-shirts and trying to profit off of them to people not in the know of what's going on. Yeah. Um, such as what the, was, the people at Fillmore the, Graves. What was the Tumblr page called? I don't know. Sean La 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 or something like that. It was a, a play on words. Mm. I'm not... I'm finding, like, actual people. <laughs> Yeah. I'd have to go back in the episode and actually. I don't think it's. I don't think it's nice. Pause it. Yeah, they might have just made it for this particular show. Yeah. I'm just saying, I wouldn't have been surprised if they did it. Yeah. So they might have, it. and it was up for a little. Yeah, they like made it and then deleted it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I doubt it, but you would think something like that would be around for more than one episode. So I doubt they deleted it. Um, but yeah. she uh, She's all sorts of crazy, so I can't wait to kind of see how this unfolds. Because we know that this is not... Uh, we're not done with her. No. We got, we got more of her shenanigans coming for Major. Oh, definitely. I want to see yeah. how um, he's going to have to deal with it, you know? I think we only have a few episodes left, so it's gonna come. It's gonna wrap up real quick. I think we have two episodes left. Yeah, I think so. Does that seem right? That sounds about right. Let me just double check this real quick. Uh... Oh, here's it. Okay, stop. You two sound crazy. Sad to say, but Tupac is dead and gone. Biggie Small's twin brother killed Tupac, and is. That twin that got shot in L.A. Mm-hmm. Biggie had his voice. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. That's that. It was that whole thing. And then Liv just comes in. No, Biggie's still alive. He's living in, like, the Bahamas or something, you know, like... Uh, yeah, Biggie's just... in Havana. Yeah. That, yeah. There we go. That's exactly what Liv says. So. And I loved all the, the conspiracies. They were just, like, completely crazy, off-the-wall, ridiculous. Glad they didn't touch on, you know, one of the more recent popular ones with the... Uh, I can't even say it's recent because it's, you know, what, a bunch of years old now, 9-11. Um, mm. You know, we had that. Yeah. that. That's a big one amongst conspiracy theorists. That's, that's the moon still landing. a really I think, I think people try to stay so. away from the whole yeah. Yeah. thing. Yeah. Moon landing. Yeah. That was another really big one. That could have um, been a good one they could have touched on. Yeah. And, and as far as all conspiracy theories go in terms of it, the moon landing one is the one that I would be the most likely to, like believe like if i had to choose if i had to choose a conspiracy theory to believe the moon mm-hmm. landing would be the one that, that that it was faked that would be the one that i would choose to believe but after watching the mythbusters episode they removed all doubt from my mind you know like <laughs> they they actually went to the moon so that, that, i love yeah. some of these quotes that they have on stage <laughs> that's my roommate sex work <laughs> yeah we had, that was nonchalant. Just that's my roommate's sex for, and she's like, "Oh!" And then they just kept walking. Yeah, we had yeah. Rachel come in, go shows up at Ravi's house. Uh, Ravi, the Ravi's introduced to the sex for it first. Mm-hmm. You know, and then uh, so it was Rachel. But I mean, like when I say they're introduced to the sex for, it's not like they were invited in for an orgy or anything. You know, they just saw it. <laughs> saw it. You know, in its shambled state, and and. He's just like that's that's my roommate's sex for it, and she's just like, oh, <laughs> yeah. There was there she was really this... like it didn't even like she like didn't even finish. No. She's like, oh, okay. She anyway. didn't skip a beat, and not at all. No. Nope. And they go to the uh, kitchen, and uh, Major's in there, and she goes, "Your your roommate's the chaos killer," 
and then she leaves. Uh, she freaks out. Cause she's like, oh, oh, my God, zombies are real. I just got over this, and then this is happening, and you're a doctor, and then, oh, my God, the chaos killer is your roommate. I have to go. Yeah. And then she comes back later, I've seen the chaos killer sex work. <laughs> yeah. She shows up later at the morgue, and then Ravi kind of, not forced to, just upon his own accord, fills her in um, on what seems like everything. Like we don't know oh, what Ravi like said. God. She's a reporter. She said, in, he said enough he didn't that, that. Liv's face is on the front of a freaking newspaper. He well, said enough. Right, but it's not like it's Liv's normal human face that was associated no. with. It is zombie Liv from the uh, the opening thing with the zombie truthers, right? So we have yeah. Ravi, you know, standing there like, is he going to get shot? Is he not going to get shot? Are they going to break in at the right time and prevent him from being shot? Uh, but they ended up not shooting him. They knocked him out instead. He didn't exactly go down. He just stumbled back and bled a bit. But, mm -hmm. you know, Blaine and, and Liv break in, smoke grenade, Liv gets shot, you know, the whole, whole thing. And then while the, the conspiracy theorists, zombie truthers, are, are trying to flee, Fillmore Graves busts through the front, you know, with I'm surprised they didn't roll in with tanks. <laughs> you know? They might as well have. I know, shit. So, um, Bojan, one of the, the conspiracy theorists, uh, they have a big, like, brain-eating party. We we have, uh... That was the best. We have Liv, Blaine, Donnie, and uh, one of the Fillmore Grave Guards. Uh, just chowing down. Ravi walks in, almost pukes. Mm-hmm. Well, do you blame him, though? I mean, I, I, I don't think he's actually seen anybody, like, the zombies chow down on a brain like that nonchalant just sit there like lounging just out of like... someone's head because he's like he's laying there and they're just like mm -hmm. scooping it out of, out of his head mm -hmm. and they're just all hanging out like yeah let's hang out <laughs> we're having a you know just, just having like a how, meal between friends yeah i like how blaine asked if this is going to be a weekly thing because he seemed real into it yeah calling Liv his new best buddy and stuff yeah i think he i think he's always wanted to be uh, live to be his friend i think so <laughs> yeah uh, what was even better was when Clive was there and they're all talking and then Clive triggers a vision for yes. all three of them at the same time. That was That hilarious. was amazing. Did we just have a three-way? <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, just like, man. oh my god, like all three at the same time. It was great. It was great. Yeah. But, uh, and then back at uh, Fillmore Graves... The uh, the guard there also had a vision, uh, but his vision was different from yeah. uh, Liv, Blaine, and Donnie's. His vision actually showed the cabin. He knows where it is, um, so he he gets them all to go. Liv gets another Rich. vision in the meantime um, that we we know that um, Harley knew the truck was bugged. Mm -hmm. So now she's putting two to two together. The cabin that they they go to, all that realize the cabin's probably bugged it's an ambush booby trapped um, yeah yeah it's booby trapped so they call in uh the team and just before major goes in um it's really bad just before major goes in he pulls out right yeah no pulls out for live is that does that make it better no it's getting worse isn't it Considering what also and in my brain, which was, completely, and which then, you completely jumped and, over with the fact that... And then after he pulled out for Liv, there was an explosion? Does it get any... Bit? It's No, it's still getting worse, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Kim, where, where are you going? Sorry, my brain it was also on the part that you completely skipped over, was the fact that when the, 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 the guard came in to talk about his vision... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, he was getting full he was getting frontal spray tan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you're, and I'm like, oh, well, you're kind of pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from from his neck down. Hmm. Mm. He's a double bagger, is that what you're trying to say? Plastic well, and paper. Bad looking face. Plastic I'm so and paper. I'm so very curious about the faces he keeps giving Liv. Like, what's going to happen here? <laughs> yeah. Probably nothing. 
Uh, he looks like he's in to live. Every time he's around her, he seems not like he's unless, in to live. Not unless Justin dies. You know, because all oh, Liv's yeah. boyfriends have to go. I was like, well, we know how it happens to Liv's boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the uh, cabin's booby trapped. Uh, blew up some uh, of the Fillmore Graves uh, zombie peoples. You just see a foot go flying or yeah. a hand, whatever that was. It of, was uh, an appendage, and it was it was blown up, and it landed beside Justin and Major. Yeah. That's all we know. And then later on, Clive and Liv end up going back there to investigate. I'm not sure if they knew about the explosions. Um, the, Pretty they sure they were on. filled in. Okay. So I guess they disarmed the place? Yeah. I, it was a minefield around the cabin. That's what they said. So I'm pretty sure they probably went in and disarmed all the mines. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they go in and explore the house. That's when they realize that there's, in fact, indoor plumbing inside. Yet they have an outhouse. And it wasn't really good outhouse because there was no hole in well, I mean, the toilet. There was a hole. Under the, the the seat, but I mean, if the hole was there, somebody could just lift the seat and saw the ladder. It would have been like... It's dark enough. It's dark enough or, down there. It's bad. It's dark enough down there that I think the hole could have existed without seeing yeah. the ladder. And it would have been fine. But then you have to worry about, like, random people coming through the woods <laughs> hunting. And they're like, oh, I really have to take a shit. And then you're coming oh, up the ladder... No. You know, and bad things happen. Oh, God. So, I can understand why they didn't cut the hole in the, the seat, you know? Mm hmm. But still, I think it should have been done. Could at least, like, put a bucket in the bottom, you know? Like, I don't know. Oh, man. So gross. I, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. Secret bunker under there. Um, it ends up, it's Holly John's uh, hideaway. Uh, we find out Liv has a vision. He did not, in fact, kill the zombie people. Clive's, uh, neighbor. You know, all that. Mm -mm. Uh, but, uh, Holly did, or... Harley? Harley, Harley not Holly. Harley, uh, did get scratched. Yeah. In, uh, the scuffle at, uh, the truther meeting. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he is a now a zombie. Yep. I'm kind of like not surprised. Like when he, when he, as soon as he was sitting there in the dark, I was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." Oh. Now I'm curious if they were to kill him, and Liv took his brain and ate it, is she gonna get visions or no? Because he's a zombie and no, he's no, own? he's technically <laughs> dead. He's technically dead. There's no, like, synopsis. Like, there's no electrical nervy stuff firing. Like All, all the that. brains that she eats are dead brains. But they haven't... They haven't been, like, tainted, you know? They're, they're still fresh. I guess. Like, they're still human. They're not undead. What if she you ate know? a squirrel brain? She gonna run around collecting nuts? Maybe. Maybe there's just not enough going on in a squirrel's brain for her to get visions. Maybe. And but maybe not enough sustenance either. Either way, I don't want to find out how many nuts she could fit in her mouth. Um. What's the matter, Kim? You're giving us migraines. Oh. I'm being sweet and innocent over here. You? That's a first. Yeah. Well, you're the one being bad. Yeah, somebody's got to pick up your slack. Um, <laughs> I did point out the the naked the naked man. Yeah, I guess. Well, to be fair, he was naked. He was naked. He was. He was. Um, with his spray tan. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm uh, but at the zombie truther, uh, Blaine meets Chase Graves for the first time, offers him a br business proposition. Mhm. Mm but uh he, we don't know uh we don't know what's going to come of that. We don't know if they're going to show up and and talk. I mean, he did show a little bit of interest, but at the same time he was kind of saying no. Mm. I don't know, he's playing hard to get for Blaine. Oh, for sure. With that. Yeah. For sure. 
Um, and then we had uh, Peyton. Yeah, uh, Peyton's storyline was interesting. She tries to fill live in on the events of what's been going on with uh, Weckler's daughter, uh, mm -hmm. Tatum. And uh, we see uh, Tatum getting uh, her father's possessions from, from Peyton. Uh, there's a key to a safety deposit box, and Peyton basically manipulates her um, into going with her to open it to try to get the memory card uh, mm -hmm. that was stolen from... Uh, I don't remember her name now. The dominatrix lady. Yeah. Um, and uh, they go, they open the, the box, and uh, sure enough, the memory card's in there. Tatum just gives it to her. Uh, but it seems like there's more to that box. It was the mother's jewelry box. Looks like there were some pearls and some stuff in there, but the memory card was there. I'm curious, though, what else could possibly be there? I mean, unless it's in the lining of the box, we saw everything that was there. There could be a, a secret panel or something like that. Yeah. If there is a secret panel, that's why wasn't the memory card in there? You know, why was that out in the open? But, I don't know. It's that, that Something with that music box just seemed there's, there's something up with that. I don't know. I think it was just... The whole, what we were supposed to be focusing on is Tatum and how Peyton found out that she's actually a zombie. I think that's what we were supposed to focus on with the yeah. memory card. She's mm -hmm. being really shady about the box. She, like, grabbed she's... the box. She, like, hid the box away from uh, from Peyton. It was just the way she was holding it, you know, and everything. And then she was so quick to leave. And on the on the way out the door, she gets a vision. That Peyton notices, obviously. Because mm -hmm. she's seen them a thousand times now. So... No, I just figure that, you know, Tatum's just really, really bad at trying to hide secrets. And she's really, really trying to hide that she's a zombie, and she's doing a terrible job at it. Yeah, that might be part of it. I don't know. It just drew a lot of attention to that box well, for no reason. if Peyton didn't know about the whole space out, mm -mm. she wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah, if she didn't, you know, see the, the telltale signs, she yeah. wouldn't have known. No. But she still would be like, you're acting weird kind of thing. She It would raise questions, but she wouldn't know that she's a zombie. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but on the memory card, uh, it, it did in fact show Weckler killing her. Um, mm -hmm. But it also showed him on the phone afterwards um, with the order to um, steal the memory card. Um, and the intention was not to kill her, it was to talk to her. Things escalated, and Weckler ended up killing her. Mm -hmm. So, it was, he was looking for advice to cover it up. Um, Peyton and Liv both really come to the idea, which is really bad since, uh, Liv is on the, uh, conspiracy theorist brain, that mm -hmm. it is, uh, Baracus the mayor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's probable, it makes sense, but I'm, I'm just a little weary of it. I'm a little conspiracy weary of it because uh, of uh, the brain that Liv is on. So. I don't know. But. Yeah. No, and then I think the only thing left is just Rachel at the end, you know, telling her, her boss everything and then Liv being on the front page. Yeah, that's when we find out, you know, that she's yeah. working for the newspaper and all that, so. Mm -hmm. but. I'm interested to see where that goes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious if we're going to get any more of a uh, character that we were introduced to this episode that was on for just a very, very brief uh, time was the ballistics guy, Clive's ballistics <laughs> guy, Axel. Um, I actually really liked him, so. He seemed like a conspiracy theorist himself. Mm. He did. That's, that's, that's why I think he seemed a little interesting, because we had never seen him before, but he came in and he fit right in with Liv and Clive in that particular moment. Yeah. No, it was great. So, uh, next episode, um, is actually part one of the season finale. Um, it's spread over, we're not having the season okay. finale in two parts in the same week it's spread out over two weeks but okay uh it's literally uh part one so okay uh the episode uh is called uh where did i put it um 
Looking for Mr. Goodbrain, Part 1. Uh, okay. When Liv consumes the brain of someone from Ravi's past, not only does it have her wanting to sleep with every guy in Seattle, <laughs> she also begins to have some very intimate visions of Ravi. Oh. What? Meanwhile, Major is faced with a huge decision. Is it? I wonder if it's the other doctor. His, his old boss? Right. Yeah. She got too close. Was figuring out zombie stuff. She got killed. Yeah, Fillmore Graves stepped in and was like, nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Fillmore Graves has their hands in a lot more than we think. I oh, think yeah. they, they sabotage their own director and uh, commander, their military yeah. commander. I feel like um, they had a lot to do with... The uh, cure? Sh- the, yes, the cure. And I think they're, they just have their hands in everything. And it's... Yeah. yeah, if we don't find it in this episode, we should definitely find out in the actual finale, part two, uh, mm-hmm. who stole the cure. I mean, that, that's, yes. that's got to come into play. I honestly think there's a lot... I mean, I, I know we kept saying that the way he keeps the way he keeps looking at Liv. I think there's more going on with him in general. Mm. Oh, yeah. Not just the him eyeing Liv up. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, you ladies have anything else before we wrap this up? No. no. Nope. Kim, where can the people find you? On Twitter at H-U-F-F-I-D-Y. 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 <laughs> this is a weird dance you made me do. Uh, Nikki, where can the people find you? <laughs> On Twitter as well at LadyVenom24. L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M 24. Yeah, there's no jingle for mine. No, it's fine. Work. I tried. No. no. You can find me down below at Phenomenon. P H E N O M E D O M. And you can find us all and more on Facebook, Gmail, G Plus, Twitter, <coughs> and right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows, games, and movies. Until next week for the Penel Ultimate episode. Yeah. Excuse me. (laughs) Kim. (laughs) What? Don't win that shit on me. (laughs) Yeah. Who's the dog? Yep. What dog? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs)